The opening narration in this movie was performed by an uncredited Jamie Lee Curtis. She previously worked with Carpenter starring in his 1978 film Halloween. The outdoor city scenes in the movie were filmed in St. Louis and not in New York, as it would have been too costly and difficult to achieve the look needed for the film there. Miniatures and matte paintings were used to present the New York skyline and wide shots of the city. There was only one scene in the movie that was actually shot in New York. This was a scene at the beginning of the movie that takes place on Liberty Island. At the time of the movie's release, computers capable of 3D wireframe imaging were very expensive and the movie did not have the budget to use them. Due to this, in the scene where Snake flies a glider through the city, the effects crew filmed a miniature cardboard model of New York City that was painted black with green lines on it to achieve the effect of a 3D display. The movie used new Panavision lenses that were capable of filming in low light, which helped create the look of the movie. Many of the outdoor scenes feature very little lighting, which contributes to the iconic visual look of the film. Escape from New York had a budget of around $5 million, Carpenter's largest budget to that point. Nick Castle was a co-writer for the film. He previously worked with Carpenter playing the role of Michael Myers in the 1978 film Halloween. The movie featured both John Carpenter and Kurt Russell's wives at the time it was filmed, Adrian Barbeau and Susan Hubley. Both couples divorced a few years after the film, however. James Cameron, director of such films as Terminator, Aliens, Titanic, and Avatar, served as the special effects director of photography for the film and the matte painting artist. He was listed in the credits as Jim Cameron. Avco Embassy Pictures, the film's financial backer, preferred either Charles Bronson or Tommy Lee Jones to play the role of Snake Plissken, and also considered Chuck Norris. Carpenter's choice for the role was Kurt Russell, who got the part and modeled the character to some degree after Clint Eastwood. Russell also came up with the idea for Snake to wear an eye patch and created one of the most iconic movie characters of all time. <laughs> 